Well, the story goes is, uh, is that uh, back in 2007, I uh, developed an interest in, in, in renewables. Then through, a, through a, a common acquaintance, I, I ran into Mike who was already more advanced in his activities in the, in the sector, helping uh, the developer and investor into one of the first power plants, solar power plants in the Czech Republic. And we realized after speaking uh, quite extensively uh, that we actually had a common vision and really wanted to build up a company that would be able to provide clean energy in the first instance, and it was mainly built around solar energy. With all the energy, other energy sources, you need to chase the grid. You need to build a, a, a wind turbine where there's uh, you know a lot of wind blowing. Uh, with hydro, you have to go where there's flowing water. With solar, you don't need to do that. It allows you to take energy that is all around us in the form of light, and convert that into usable energy. And um, you, you can you can literally use that technology as the basis for many other processes as well. So it's an enabler of um, decentralized uh, energy energy use for, for any purpose. Uh, we sat together, talked about our visions and um, basically came to the conclusion that uh, this is exciting, has a lot of potential. And uh, we should build an integrated business model. So a model where you can go all the way from developing a project all the way through to owning a project. And uh, that integrated mo model would bring together all of the skills and, um, and different types of uh, people who would need to be able to achieve that. And that was the, that was the goal. It started very humbly and uh, only with a few, few people and uh, a lot of multitasking. And uh, it also didn't have the level of um, belief or support from, from you know, external stakeholders in particular. No one really believed that uh, solar energy would become anything really important. It was viewed as a technology that needed government support to survive and um, it is probably only going to be relatively marginal uh, from perspective of its energy potential. Uh, but we believed otherwise. That what we're doing is addressing um, actually rapidly growing needs uh, worldwide and uh, essentially if we do our work well, uh, there's, there's uh, enough to do for the next 20 to 30 years. And of course, a lot of people looked at us and said, you guys are a bit crazy. But what happened uh, over time is, and we see it very much today, is it's become completely mainstream. Everybody wants it and needs it. And it's no longer a question of, does it work? It's more a question of, how do we get it up and running as quickly as possible? Solar has grown very dynamically and, and, and uh, year after year, new records in terms of uh, newly installed capacity worldwide is uh, set uh, and of course the total installed capacity is growing uh, when we look at the total energy needs worldwide um, we are barely scratching the surface well after the after the initial uh, solar boom in 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 the Czech Republic and Slovakia where we started our business we kind of took a step back and we said okay what are the biggest problems in the world and um, and water comes pretty soon as, as one of the the, the, the key issues and, and particularly, um, I mean, at the very basic level, so we still have, you know, somewhere between one and two billion people in the world that don't have access to uh, safe drinking water. The water element of this uh, clean energy and clean, clean water vision, there's, there's quite a big similarity in um, what water means from a perspective of um, achieving all of the other societal goals that we have. Because with clean energy and clean water, you can pretty much do anything. You, know, you can produce food, you can um, support industries, you, you can um, get water to places where, you know, to the desert, you can get, you can get clean water from, from seawater. So there is a, there's a huge similarity in what the outcome is. And combining energy and water actually makes a lot of sense for those reasons. But we had chance encounters, you know, through commercial partnerships, um, we did uh, come across um, Peter Kvapil, who um, was working on some very, very interesting technologies. Uh, we saw that, we embraced that, and we saw that as our opportunity to actually get into the industry. Then we managed to take on uh, Peter Kvapil as, uh, as our um, manager for that division. Again, I think we've come uh, a very long way. 
uh, addressing actually real life needs. So we see a lot of growth potential and we do expect that that water will actually become uh, a major pillar and hopefully one day even on par with our solar business. <laughs> our company has changed massively. So when we started out, you know, it was essentially a garage company in the beginning. I do very fondly remember the day when we met at the notary office and uh, signed, the, signed the, the founding deed. The reason why I, I decided to pivot from my, my, my previous direction, was, which was financial advisory, was actually that um, um, for whatever reason, I did a started asking myself, uh, you know, what will I be able to tell my, my grandkids what I've been doing when I was young. And, and in advisory, you know, you just jump from one project to the other without really a, uh, a tangible result. So I thought, you know, if I were an architect, I could take my grandkids one day and say, look, granddad designed this and built this 40 years ago and it's still standing. And, and so there's this real desire in me to actually, so I, I feel, felt a void and, and, and it's created a desire to get into something that leads to some tangible uh, results and um, I was a bit too late to become an architect in my in my career so solar has definitely satisfied that desire and I do find it really really very uh, exciting and satisfying to, to see at the end of a paper process to have an operating power plant that produces clean energy and uh, and also solves a, a wider issue at least contributes to it. There's a lot of things I'm proud of in this company. But fundamentally, I'd say the, the most important parts of that are how we've managed to build an amazing team of people. There is probably not a person working for Photon Energy who is not working here because they really want to make a difference. And that to me is a fantastic environment to be able to work in. You know, with like-minded people, you can do so much. You can actually move from ideas and concepts all the way through to practical outcomes. And um, you know, one of our employees, we've summed this up nicely, actually one of, one of our younger employees in Sydney, and actually um, she said, you can be the change you want to see. And I think that completely sums up what uh, Photon Energy is all about.